Steven Boss, known as Twitch to his fans, was the beloved DJ on Ellen with the megawatt smile and signature dance moves. It still sounds very fishy to me that he still that he would take his life. In the knowing, he wanted to be the strong one for everyone, and I think that was a little scary for him to think that he might need to ask for help. You know, people say a lot of like, what were the signs, and you know. It... Stephen Twitch's grandfather recently revealed the chilling last words he told him before his death, but our question is why. The dancer's family is left with more questions than answers after his sudden alleged suicide last December. Since his sudden death, fans have wondered what Twitch's last words were and what his final moments were like with his friends and family before he allegedly killed himself and left his loved ones with more questions than answers. New evidence now suggests there may have been foul play and that his death should be freshly investigated. For everyone, but to honor Twitch, I think the best thing that we can do is to laugh and hug each other. Twitch, whose real full name is Stephen Laurel Boss, was born on September 29, 1982 in Montgomery, Alabama. He rose to fame in 2008 when he was the runner-up on So You Think You Can Dance Season 4. He returned to So You Think You Can Dance as an All-Star in 2011, 2012, and 2013, and as a team captain in 2015. He was also a judge on the series in 2018 and 2022. I actually auditioned in LA, made it to Vegas, and uh, when it came down to the pickings, there was one. Along with So You Think You Can Dance, Twitch was also known as a DJ on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, which he appeared on from 2014 to the talk show's finale in 2022. In addition to his dance career, he was also an actor, starring in movies like Blades of Glory, Hairspray, Stomp the Yard, Homecoming, Step Up 3D, Step Up Revolution, Step Up All In, and Magic Mike XXL. He also appeared in TV shows like Modern Family and Young and Hungry. And I'm talking about you, Twitch. Come here. After more than a decade in Hollywood, Twitch died by alleged suicide on December 13th, 2022. He was 40 years old. He was survived by his wife, Allison Holker, a contestant on So You Think You Can Dance Season 2, and their three children, Wesley Fowler, Maddox Laurel, and Zaya. It is with the heaviest of hearts that I have to share that my husband, Stephen, has left us, Holker said in a statement at the time of Twitch's death. Stephen lit up every room he stepped into. He valued family, friends, and community above all else, and leading with love and light was everything to him. He was the backbone of our family, the best husband and father, and an inspiration to his fans. Since his death, countless theories have hit the headlines as to why the celebrated dancer and jockey suddenly died. And just recently, his grandpa added fuel to the fire by revealing the last words his departed grandson shared with him. Twitch's grandfather, Eddie Boss, told the Daily Mail on December 15, 2022, about his final conversation with his grandson before he died two days later. We spoke as recently as Saturday on more than one occasion, Eddie said. He was the same happy-go-lucky person that he's always been. We had no indication that anything was out of the ordinary. He continued, he was a very humble, generous person. He brought light into everybody's lives. We're completely devastated right now. All I can say is he was a beautiful person that contributed so much to this world and to everyone he met in a positive way. We miss him dearly and we're hurting tremendously. Eddie, who traveled from Arizona to Los Angeles to be with Twitch's family after his death, also revealed the last text Twitch sent him before he died. Every word has meaning. His last words to me were a simple text that said, I love you, dad, dad. Our question is why, where did it come from? He said. Eddie also told the Daily Mail that he was still not sure Twitch's death was a suicide, despite the Los Angeles Police Department confirming that his grandson died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The same sentiments are shared by the dancer, widow, and mother of their three children. A recently released autopsy report claims that Twitch had no drugs or alcohol in his system on the day that he took his life in a hotel room. He was found dead at the Oak Tree Motel, a 15-minute walk from his L.A. home, at about 11.15 a.m. He died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. According to new legal documents obtained by The Blast, Twitch's wife, Allison Holker, told officers that the Ellen Show DJ was not showing any signs of distress prior to his death. I've learned the preciousness of life. 
Investigators noted that she told officers that, to her knowledge, Stephen does not have a history of suicide attempts or suicidal ideation. She also said he does not have any mental health problems, does not have any financial issues or marital problems. According to the legal documents, Boss was completely sober during the time leading up to his suicide. So is there something we are not being told? Following the incident, there was speculation from fans about issues that might have led to his untimely death. Many fans were awaiting the toxicology report to learn more about what happened. The autopsy report states, on Tuesday, December 13, 2022, at 11.10 hours, the hotel manager and housekeeping staff entered the room as the deceased had not checked out. They discovered the decedent's possessions still in the room and subsequently found the decedent unresponsive in the shower with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. A white towel was around the decedent's shoulders, and his clothes and other belongings were found folded neatly in the motel room, according to the report. It continues, A table was located against the north wall of the room, which held a backpack containing various notebooks and a laptop computer. The decedent's clothes were neatly folded and stacked on the table. Additionally, nothing found in the room points toward anything specific that explains his actions. Initial media reports indicated Twitch had left a suicide note referencing his past struggles. The autopsy report confirms that a note was found, but there is no detail about what it said. Holker told the police how out of character his actions were after leaving his home. It was to such an extent that officers considered listing it as a critical missing persons case. At this time, are feeling so much pain. Um, and I've said this before, but we feel this much pain because we feel so much. She reportedly ran into an LAPD station saying her husband had left home without his car, which was very unlike him. Addressing the tragic death on social media, Holker wrote, Stephen lit up every room he stepped into. He valued family, friends, and community above all else, and leading with love and light was everything to him. She added, he was the backbone of our family, the best husband and father, and an inspiration to his fans. To say he left a legacy would be an understatement, and his positive impact will continue to be felt. I am certain there won't be a day that goes by that we won't honor his memory. Ellen DeGeneres said in a statement the day after his death, I'm heartbroken. Twitch was pure love and light. He was my family, and I loved him with all my heart. I will miss him. Please send your love and support to Allison and his beautiful children, Wesley, Maddox, and Zaya. What's even more pulsating is the run-up to his alleged suicide. Why? Well, Twitch said he was hoping to have another child with his wife the month before he was found dead in a motel bathroom. No one really takes their lives when planning to have a baby. Moreover, he had just celebrated his wedding anniversary with his wife, Allison Holker, three days before. In an interview a month before his death, the dancer told The Jennifer Hudson Show that he and his wife were considering adding to their family, saying, I love the little babies, I love them. It's a constant conversation. Allison excitedly told Hudson, I think we would love to start trying for another one. Sources told TMZ that Twitch checked into the motel on the morning of December the 12th, 2022, a day before his death. He took an Uber from his home to the motel and switched his phone to airplane mode so no one could contact or track him. Motel staffers told TMZ that Twitch didn't seem in distress and wasn't visibly upset when he arrived at the hotel. Staffers also told TMZ that he came with a small bag and booked the room for just one night. When he missed his checkout time at 11 a.m. and didn't respond to the motel staff's calls on December 13, 2022, housekeeping and management knocked repeatedly on Twitch's door. When there was no answer, management opened the door, saw a body on the floor, and immediately called the police. The staffers told TMZ they didn't hear a gunshot during Twitch's stay as the motel's layout has separate units and the structure is in a U-shape. The motel's manager also told Us Weekly that the Oak Tree Inn didn't rent out rooms for a week following the dancer's death. The employee also confirmed that Twitch was alone and that everything was normal, nothing was weird, the day Twitch's body was found. These are precisely the reasons why some fans believe there may have been foul play, not stressed, not drugs, no gunshot noise. Isn't that just a curiously consistent pattern of maybes? At the end of the sad mourning period, almost six months later, Twitch's family did try to celebrate him with his wife Holker leading the charge. The So You Think You Can Dance alum recently posted a sweet Instagram tribute to her daughter Wesley on her 15th birthday. This celebration marks Wesley's first birthday since her father's death. 
Happy birthday, Wesley. I am so proud of the beautiful woman that you are, Holker Boss captioned the photo. I always say you are my wise owl. You have a stunning old soul that has a beautiful grasp of life and the world. You are making an impact in this world by just expressing who you are and what you believe in. I'm honored to be at your side during your journey. I love you, baby girl at Wesley or Boss. Happy 15. She captioned, we're sure her father is proud of her milestone and is looking out for them every single day. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.